Good morning, my name is Ed Marshall. I'm with Frontier Communications. And one of the things that I'd like to do is make sure that everybody understands who Frontier is. Frontier purchased the assets of uh, Verizon uh, local phone service about three years ago. And when Frontier did that, we became the largest rural telephone company in the United States today. So we're currently in 27 states. We service over three million residential and business customers in those states. One of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that in addition to being a telephone company, we also provide a lot of other services as well. In addition to internet services, obviously the regular telephone service, we provide phone systems. We are the largest uh, MyTel distributor in the United States. We became the largest MyTel distributor uh, sometime this past summer, as a matter of fact. So we sell a lot of phone systems. We also sell via phone systems, but both of those phone systems are quality phone systems, and depending upon what features uh, the comp company that we're selling to is looking for, we'll determine which phone system that we actually provide. So uh, that's one of the things that we want to make sure everybody understands is that we also uh, sell in the phone system, and there's a big advantage of having one company that is providing the phone system as well as the phone service and the connection to it, whether it be a PRI or whether it be high-speed internet connections. Having one company that is responsible for both the phone system as well as the connection to that phone system can be a huge advantage. So one of the things that I'd like to do is basically turn this over to uh, my two uh, uh, cohorts here. I've got uh, Kevin Taphouse, who is actually uh, a customer engineer and does a lot of the installations in Southeast Michigan. I also have uh, Randy Engels, and Randy is one of the sales guys that sells a lot of these phone systems. He's relatively new to Frontier, uh, but has uh, been uh, in the industry for a long time and can really assist customers on, on their services. Some of the questions I think that get asked in, in the, the phone systems, and I'll, I'll let Randy kind of uh, hit upon this, is the difference between a digital phone system and an IP phone system or a VoIP phone system. So I'm gonna go ahead and let uh, Randy um, hit some of the questions that he gets asked by certain customers or some of the questions that he might ask a customer when looking at a brand new phone system. Hi, I'm Randy Ingalls. I'm with Frontier Communications. Um, I service the whole Southeast Michigan, and like uh, Ed Marshall said, we do both Avaya and Mitel. I think probably the questions I get the most are, what is voice over IP and how does it work and how does it compare to a digital phone system? Most customers, because there's so many different types of voice over IP, don't really understand it and don't understand the advantages that voice over IP could bring to their business. Um, probably the biggest advantage or in the questions I get asked is what is the collaborative part of voice over IP? And basically that's being able to have uh, phone calls come into your business and then if you're not there in person to take that call or if you're on the phone or just busy, that call can be put into a voicemail and then that voicemail can be distributed to you on your iPhone or on your smartphone via email and that way if you're out in the field you can take advantage of being able to stay up with your customers, stay in contact with them or just get back to them. In my case, I'm on the road a lot, so when people call in and leave a voicemail for me, I'm able to get that very quickly within just a few minutes and it allows me to respond um, quicker. The other thing is all those voicemails are in one place so that even though it did come to your phone, you can come back and you can get those in the office. Um, I guess that's probably the collaborative part of um, both the IP system and the digital system is that collaborative workplace. Um, a lot of people don't understand IP and what the voice over IP is. Um, Frontier, we're able to do the whole piece of everything for you. We can do that high-speed internet connection in many different types, everything from just regular high-speed internet to Metro Ethernet layer two and we can also do the phone system attached to it. So basically, like Ed said, you can have one company and we can kind of be the one neck to choke or the one person to love with everything. So I guess what I'd like to do is um, let Kevin talk to you more about features within the Mitel system and the Avaya system. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to Kevin for just a couple minutes. I'm Kevin Tapas. I installed the uh, phone systems along with the Metro Ethernet services that we provide. And I'm the one that gets to make everything that he sells work. So the integrations of the quality of service into the customer's network, as long as establishing the different VLANs and everything in the company's net networks to allow the voice over IP to operate seamlessly within their network. The integration of the analog uh, long range cordless phones along with the SIP IP phones, you know, into the company's network so that everything acts as one phone system, one thing their uh, Outlook applications, so when they get their voicemails, it pops up in their Outlook. They see it right on their desktop. They've got their caller ID, so they know if they need to answer the phone, or if they can continue what they're doing and keep working. And the um, desktop apps are a big part of it on all of them that everyone's going to now. They're going to soft phones, soft video phones. And like I said, the integration of everything into their networks using the current IP services and make, making sure that their networks are, can handle the traffic that the voice over IP and the demands it puts on their networks. And it's much greater than most people realize that it is. And the class of the service and quality of service you have to set up in the networks to make sure that the voice is what everyone expects. Because when you pick up your phone, you expect 100% voice quality. Cell phones, people don't care. Well, they'll talk over anything. But when you have a desk phone and people pick it up, they expect it to be clear, crisp, and they don't care whether it's a voice over IP or a standard TDM style phone. And that's what my responsibilities are, is just making the difference, whether it be a digital phone or the IP phones that have your Skype, Twitter feeds, and all that right to your desktop that a lot of the companies are going to because this one, It'll do your Facebook right at your desktop. Twitter feeds will scroll right down through all your RSS feeds for your stock tickers, anything like that, right at your desktop all the time. And that's the type of things that I do. And Kevin, yeah. let me ask you, what's uh, what's the biggest feature that's being asked for in, in a new phone system? And it right now is a voicemail to email because Everyone's got their smartphones on them and they're not always at their desk and if they can pull up their smartphone and listen to their voicemails without having to run back to their desk, that's, that's probably the biggest integration we're doing right now is the voicemail to email. And we do it through here, like I said, and then when you're in the office with the VPN, you have your desktop applications that integrate right into Outlook. So you'll have all your call information there along with the voicemail. What's the average size phone system that uh, somebody will typically order up? How many phones or stations? In there, um, uh, it varies. We just did a, a voice over IP system with 172 phones over four sites in four different towns that we tied together using voice over IP and regular telephone lines depending on where what was available in which areas. And we've I've put in two in the last three weeks they had you know ten ten phones in one three phones in another and then a full set of six wireless phones it's I mean it's they come through all ranges and sizes we put this phone system in right here for a customer with they like said four four wireless handsets three desk sets and we put the same system in that was a hundred percent IP with hundred and seventy two phones in two sites that were on they were 11 miles apart, tied together with a voice over IP link. And so yeah, it's scalable all the way through from, you know, I, you start out, you got your internet business, and then you grow into like the one customer that we have. It's two sites, 11 miles apart, two different pr production facilities, and keep them tied together, it'll, it'll grow with them. One of the things that I, I also have heard is that uh, a lot of the savings that we can affect on uh, the local phone service and internet service can actually help pay for these types of phone systems. I think a lot of people think that these phone systems are extremely expensive, and they're really not, are they? And they're no, because a lot of times we can uh, consolidate their analog lines into a digital line, and for the price of about, I think it's 11 lines. We can put a digital line that'll handle 23 simultaneous incoming calls and it'll spread it out. And we're putting fax servers in on the phone system so that rather than having the fax lines, lines come in, the phone system handles it, sends it over to the fax server. Again, it comes in on your email. You don't have a pile of faxes or a pile of paper that's got every restaurant menu and all that. 
you just delete them out of your email, you're not wasting more resources and ha not having faxes sitting all over that aren't secured and that you don't know who's going to walk by and grab the information off of. The fax service, along with the PRIs and integrating everything into the one unit, is the biggest savings. You're not buying all the paper, the end cartridges and that. Everything's delivered digitally. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, and same with you, Randy. Uh, I appreciate your, your time and attention uh, this morning. Uh, what we're looking for is obviously uh, to, to gain uh, exposure uh, to the, the market here and let everybody know uh, what we can uh, assist uh, the local community with as far as uh, their telecommunications needs. So thank you very much.